Hello everyone, it's Gail. Hope you're having a great day today. I have some shares for you today. I have several Etsy shares that I had purchased um, on the recommendation of others. <laughs> and then I have uh, an awesome big share from Kathy Holden. And then, um, Mixed Media Minnesota's October Kit. What else? And and a variety of Happy Meals. So lots to share. If we have time at the end, I'm going to do some collaging for some journal cards. So that's, that's what we're up to today. I want to say hi and hugs first to Kathy Holden, Shannon, Debbie, Char, Diana, Jess, and Kim for... Um, for the wonderful happy mails. And so let's get started without further ado. So I bought this bundle of paper from Bella Vintage Notebook on, on Etsy. And um, I, I do love to have different, different people's um, coffee dyeing because everybody's different how they do it. What their results, they're, they're all different. So I went ahead and purchased that. I purchased some coffee dyed tags and I purchased some coffee dyed, um, uh, 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 library catalog cards or library card. You know what I mean? <laughs> Put the cards in, in the books, but, um, I love these because that's that's a big opportunity for decorating. So yes, Bella Vintage Notebook. Of course, all of the Etsy shops, as always, will be in the description box. Uh, Bella, Bella's vintage, Bella Vintage Notebook is on break right now. She had some um, family emergency, and so she's on break right now. But I still wanted to show... The beautiful things I got in her shop. So, yeah, love the coffee dye. It's 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 real pretty, and I especially like it on the pox, pockets and the tags. And then this pile came from Ellen Martin Originals on Etsy, and she does the most incredible eco dyeing I've ever seen. She sent um she sent this little fun basket as a thank you and then and then some tags. Look at that. I mean I don't know how she gets all those different colors. I'm just I'm just really amazed at her eco dyeing. It's quite wonderful. So I bought some packs from her. So I brought I bought several <laughs> packs and um We'll just, we'll take a look at the first one. And just so you can see what's, what's in one of her packs. Um, yeah, she, she really does an incredible job. I'm super excited. I haven't opened this yet. So there's postcards. Oh, they are yummy. Oh, she did like vintage postcards and she eco dyed them. Isn't that cool? super cool. Some card catalog cards. Do you see how I just spit that out that time? Practice makes perfect. <laughs> um, an envelope. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Wow. I put that on as a pocket. Wow. And um, this is a little music. Some big index cards. Look at that. Look at that blue. She just gets very true colors. A sack. Oh my gosh, that is, I wish you could feel it. So cool. So cool. And then, oh, this is a bigger envelope. Little journal cover right there is what I think. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's absolutely incredible. I don't know how she does her. Oh, there's two of those. Yay. Ooh, that makes me happy. You guys, there's just not enough hours in the day, is there? Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? And then some papers. Look at that. Just amazing. 
Look at that. So look at that in a journal. Oh, and then look at this bright orange. And and yet green too. I'm I'm in awe of her coffee dyeing. I really am. Isn't that pretty? Ugh. Yeah. So look at this. Oh, so awesome. And this, oh my goodness. It's so, so pretty. This is cardstock. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ellen. I absolutely love these. So that was, that was a good purchase on my part. I'm just, just saying that was a good purchase. So yes. So there's that. But then, wait, there's more from Ellen. I really did have myself a little shock. So she put it in this box where she decoupaged one of her pieces of paper on there. And it is a semi-naked journal is what it is. Look at this. It's cloth, eco-dyed cloth. And then look at this beautiful journal. It's got five signatures. Five signatures, it looks like. Two, four, six-ish, six-ish, eight-ish, about 10 pages in each one. So let's just flip through. She's got some embossed paper. We'll flip through a little bit of it here. An old catalog. This looks like maybe avocado dyed. And this flips open. Oh, it's on a belly band. Look at what she did that with one of the um, index cards. So cool. So cool, Ellen. I love it. So then, of course, the other side. And then look. I just, I'm, I'm in awe of her colors. Look at how br bright and vibrant that yellow is. It's just the coolest. It's got some digital stamps on the pages. Oh, it's just, it's so nicely done, Ellen. Look at. I love it. I love it. It's so beautiful. Oh, this it, oh, this was a, just a longer piece of paper and she folded it over to make a pocket. So, anyway, I just kind of wanted to thumb through so you could see she made a pocket with a postcard there. See some of her beautiful Eco died in a journal. So yes. Oh, look at how she did this pocket. Oh, geez. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. This is like a double page. So she's made a pocket there. Oh, wow. Oh, I am so glad I got that. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Ellen. So yes, Ellen Martin Originals. I will have her um, link in the at, uh, in the description box as well. Oh, yummy! Absolutely fabulous. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm gonna have a sip of water. Kathy Holden, you might remember. I uh, showed you her flea market mix fabric. Well, she sent me a big old box of things. And what I didn't know, you guys probably did, but I didn't, is she also makes stencils. And um, I wrote down the information that Kathy shared with me so that you guys, you guys can find that there's her pretty self. Um, stencils can be found on iStencils.com. 
um, and other online places if you search Inspired Barn Stencils. That's the name of her of her company as far as the stencils go. And then, um, so I'm going to show you the stencils first. And then Kathy sent me a sneak preview of her next line, which will be her next fabric line, which will be av available in October sometime. And it's called Flea Market Moxie. So we'll get to that in a minute. Let's look at these awesome stencils. So the stencils all are available in 12 by 12s. These are the 12 by 12s and six by six. So she sent some of both. Look at these. Oh my gosh, Kathy, these are awesome. I'm so excited because I have some um, stenciling to do in the journals that I'm working on right now. Oh, these are just awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Are they showing up well on the camera? Oh yeah, great, great, okay. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that. The numbers, ooh, that's gonna be fun. Oh my gosh, look at these. Oh, isn't that fun? I was just gonna look and see if they're named. I'm not seeing necessarily a name on each. Oh, yep, here it is. It's in white. Let me let me go back and tell you what these are. So this was backgammon. This was parcheesi, rosebush, parsley, tiles, lace, and wallpaper. And then this one is postage stamp. Oh, how cool is that? Boy, that gets my brain a-going. Oh, my goodness. Carnival wheel. Wow. Oh, she sent another parsley. She sent another parsley. We're going to set that aside for a, give a future giveaway. I'm going to set that over here. This one is... Acanthus. This one is Cathedral. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Olives. Light Burst. Ooh, boy, that'd be cool for jelly printing. And Floral Medallions. Oh, wow, Kathy, these are just gorgeous. Thank you so much. I am speechless. I am truly so grateful. Oh, we're going to have to do some jelly printing on a mixed media Monday coming up. And so I don't, let's see. So then we've got, we've got the six by six ones to look at too. So this one is called Lillington. Love that, how they're just strips. Oh my gosh. This one is um, called Hackney. Oh, they're just so cool. How, you know, I didn't know about Kathy until the my friend let me know about the f Flea Market Mix fabric. And it's like, where have you been all my life, Kathy? <laughs> this one's called Lucky. This one's called Crackers. This one is Orchard. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that go neat with the digital that I showed you uh, yesterday from Joey Cardmaker? That would be cool with it. This one's called Gathering. There's so many like little pieces that are so fun on these. You could do just the frame and, you know, have an image or something in there. Oh my gosh, my brain is exploding. Uh, eggs. Ice cream. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. I'm going to use that in my 
shabby chic journals. This one's called Delight. Oh my gosh, Kathy, thank you so much. Luxury. This one is called, where is it? Oh, over here. Best of show. Best of show. This one's called Home. This one's called Coffee. Oh, I have the stuff to make a coffee journal too. So that will be nice for that. And then we have Shillings. We have Royal Mail. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Six pence. Wait a minute. Okay, yep. Two shillings, six pence. The two shillings confused me for a second. Okay. And two pence. And that's not all. There's more. She's got so many designs of stencils, guys. It's just unreal. Look at these. Okay. So I think these are, these are like the ones that I just showed you. The big ones, the 12 by 12s, but these are six by six. So I already told you all their names. So I'll just flip through them so you can see the small one. Quilted one. That's one that wasn't in the other one. So I'm going to put it in that pile. Then I'll know that I have these six by six ones. Quilted two. Look at those quilt ones. You guys are going to love them. Flower vines. That one I didn't see either in the 12 by 12. This, okay, light burst and the acanthus and the rose bush. This one's called leaves. Leaves. Oh my gosh, a Christmas one. Kind of. Oak swag. So maybe more. Maybe it's more um, autumn. And then the floral medallions. I feel like there was one of those. And the wallpaper. Oh my gosh, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am, I am so very grateful. Goodness sakes. That was so incredibly generous of you. Oh my goodness. So now let us, let us look at the new floral line. So, um, that's flea market moxie. It's available in October sometime. If you Google Moda Flea Market Moxie, M-O-X-I-E, um, you can find the sellers and the fat quarter, uh, fatquartershop.com will have them, she said. So yeah, so I had, to, I had to write down some information there. Okay, let's look at these fabrics. I'm gonna go one at a time because I don't want to. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at this one. <gasps> these are incredible. Look at that. Oh, Kathy, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so there's that one. Um, I was going to look. Oh, um, I know it's on the back of the card. What did I do with the card? I've got the names of these. Uh, so I'm not sure about this one. We'll we'll move on and I'll see if I can't tell you the names of things. Okay, so this one's book pages. And look at that. Isn't that cool? All different colors of book pages. Love that. Love that. And then the next one is called, I bet you can guess once I show it to you. Maybe. This one is called, oops, Vintage Paint by Numbers. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this. Oh. Absolutely beautiful, Kathy. Vintage paint by numbers. And then this one is vintage needlepoint. 
vintage needle point. Wow. Oh, that's, that's just begging to be a journal cover, isn't it? As are they all. Oh, I love that. Love that one too. There's not a clinker in the bunch, Kathy. They're all gorgeous. Look at this one, you guys. Gum wrapper chains. Those of you who follow Kathy on Instagram saw this on her Instagram probably. Isn't that so cool? This would be such a fun journal cover to do like for um, to use children's book pages in. L more or less like a little golden book journal, but except for with a soft cover. Yep. Flea Market Moxie on Mo from Moda. Amazing. Um, and then I don't know. There's one called Crowd Scene, and I'm not sure if that's this one or not. Let's see. I maybe got a piece that doesn't have it on the salvage. Okay, well, we don't know for sure the name of that, but just just uh Google Flea Market Moxie. Look at this one. Oops. This one is like it's like uh wood, but it's got like it's like uh oh it's vintage wine crates is what it is because there's Napa, California. Vintage wine crates is this one. Wow. Oh, and so is and so is this. Oh, there's three different kind of colors of the vintage wine crates. There's three different colors, you guys. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. And then this one. So this first one is kind of a... It's got a yellowish cast to it. This one more so a green and this one's more browns for this one. Oh, they are absolutely, well, the only name that doesn't is a uh, crowd scene. So it must, that must be what this one is. I'm thinking, I don't know. So anyway, that, that is what I received from Kathy Holden. Kathy, Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I'm just blown away. Blown away with your talent. Blown away with your generosity. It's just, it's amazing. Thank you so much, Kathy. You will be seeing Kathy's stencils and this fabric in upcoming videos for sure. Okay. So then... Excuse me, I'm grabbing them off the floor and there just needed to be a groan there. Okay, so I got the October kit from um, Mixed Media Minnesota. So wanted to share it. These are the um, chipboard pieces, chipboard stickers from P Prima Amber Moon is the name of the... I'm assuming maybe the the collection. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check out all the parts and pieces. Okay, so ooh, we got some distress. Oh, speckled egg, distress paint. I'm excited about that. I've been kind of wanting that color. Yay! That can I can use that with my Kathy Holden stencils, right? Um, a couple of Prima flowers included in the kit look at these great trims of their leaves once again prima pumpkin and spice that's what that's called um oh my gosh this is washi tape is what this is i wonder if i can get it open i don't want to sorry guys had to get it up to my body <laughs> we've got sparkly black we've got sparkly kind of a orangey gold and orangey gold there and butterflies and it says blessed so the decorative tapes 
Then we've got, these are puffy stickers. Autumn Sunset is the name of theirs. Look at the cute little animals. So fun. And then this chipboard with just the leaves and journaling cards. You know how Prima does the journaling cards to match their, um, oh, they're so pretty. They match their papers. So this is Autumn Sunset Collection. Can you see that okay? Am I? Yeah, you can see most of it anyway. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's the other side. We've got kind of a map type of thing. Oh my goodness, look at these baby animals. Oh, that's beautiful. Journaling cards, but I think I would want to use that side. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This one's kind of a collage. Oh, they have names. I'll have to go back and tell you the names as I put them back. So there's then this one, the leaves on the back. And this one, this one's called Autumn Morning. This one's called Autumn, no, this one's called Fall Flight. Autumn Memories, Pumpkins and You, Falling Leaves, and Beautiful Sunset. So that is the October kit. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, I thought I was done with um, Autumn Journals, but I don't know. <laughs> Might not be. No, I don't know if I could wait till next year. So I don't know, but isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, you get so much stuff in her kits. So Mixed Media Minnesota, and you can sign up to do um, like three months of kits or six months of kits also, besides, you know, just getting one kit at a time. And what's great is if you do that subscription sort of to the three or six months, then Shannon knows how much stuff to order and, you know, and you for sure get one. Whereas usually, um, usually she tells me how many kits she has. She does, She didn't say this time, but she's had around 40 or 50 kits is all. So you might want to hop over there if you're interested. Okay, then also Shannon has on Mixed Media Minnesota, she has digitals. And she sent some of their digitals to me. So I'm excited. These two are kind of clipped together. There we go. Okay, so I'm excited to see. So this one is called Graceful Flutter. And isn't that pretty? It's butterflies and birds and birds. Ooh, that's really pretty. I was looking at the text there. Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty, Shannon. Thank you. And look, the tags, the tags and banners and stuff belly bands or page edges, big tags, envelope, and some more tags. Wow, that is so pretty, so pretty, Shannon. Okay, so that one is Graceful Flutter. Um, this one is called Birds and Mushrooms. Ooh, I know I'm gonna like this one already. Look at that first page. Isn't that so cool with the mushrooms and the birdies? Oh my gosh, these are just beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's make a lovely fall journal as well. Or just nature, you know. Isn't that 
so nice. So nice. Mm. Beautiful envelope. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh, look at the rich colors in that. Look at that gorgeous envelope. Wow, love it. Love that. That is just gorgeous. Birds and mushrooms. And this is all still mixed media Minnesota. Okay. And this one is called Galactic Magic. Galactic Magic. Oh, pinks and purples. Oh my gosh. I know a lot of you are super purple people eaters. You love your purple. These are beautiful. Oh, the colors are just, I hope they're showing up on the camera as rich and pretty as they are. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, it is so pretty. Love that. Love that. Now that one, as you know, if you've been watching me for a while, isn't necessarily my style, but I think it's kind of fun to be able to go out of your normal comfort zone. I think it stretches you creatively and it's a good thing. Falling for Autumn. Autumn Digital. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness, lovely. I love the little splashes of teal in there. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Oh, it's lovely. Look at the little teal truck. So cute. So cute. Oh, thank you so much, Shannon. Oh, just a feast for the eyes, all of it. It's just beautiful. Thank you. Okay, guys. So that, uh, those are the shares that I had right off the bat. Now I'm going to show you some happy mail. So this is from my friend Char, Charlene. She's Charlene Sherrod on YouTube. And Char's Crafty Shop on Etsy. Um, do I not have any scissors over here? Apparently not. Okay. Just going to grab one out of my bucket. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Char. It's a little bundle of goodness here. Look at this gorgeous gorgeous tag so it's kind of like a hermelinda only attached on the side and then places to write oh i love that look at her layering isn't that just beautiful oh i love it char and char's been making the little flowers so um she i think she was inspired by claudia at timeless crochet for you and now um, she is making making some too. It's so interesting though. Hers look very different. You know, it's just it's just so interesting how you can take the same idea and just have different takes on it. Oh, I love them. Thank you so much, Char. Oh, cute. Look at these. Oh, there's there's a little note. Yes. Oh, thank you, Char. This is going to be so cute in my correspondence journal. Look at this darling little piece. Oh, that just inspires me. It makes me want to layer. <laughs> so nice. Thank you so much, Char. Thank you, thank you. And I don't know if I can sh I can show you this. Um, she put one of the little flowers. She just put a piece of packing tape over it and decorated the envelope. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that was from my friend Char, and I'm just going to set.
set it over here. Okay, so I will put Char's, um, her Etsy shop in the description box as well. And then this card came from Diana. Thank you, Diana. It did make me giggle. I opened it last night. So look at the otter with the sunglasses. Happy birthday to someone who's not like all the otters. <laughs> I think that's so great. Oh, so a little birthday from Diana. Uh, Diana. Look at that cute little tag. And she sent, um, she was, let's see, she was printing flowers and her printer started to run out of ink and so it made these fun colors and she fussy cut them and sent them to me. So fussy cut flowers are always more than welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Diana. Thank you for the birthday remembrance. You guys, I have my correspondence journals are on the way from Melanie at Texas Freckles. Bless her heart. She keeps me supplied with my um, correspondence journals. Okay, so now next I need to move her address. This is from Jess. And Jess said she made this journal a long time ago, was inspired by one of her family's favorite books. She, um, <laughs> she says she finished it just as Rendale Gate, which just as that happened, Rendale Date, what she's referring to is the Rendale um, napkins that, I contacted them to make sure it was okay using them in um, journals for sale, and they said no. <laughs> so that's what she's referring to on Rengale Gate. Um, and she'd use those designs in there, so she put it on the shelf not knowing kind of what to do. And um, so anyway, she sent it to me. <laughs> It's so nice, Jess. Thank you. And she is Ocean Ocean of Ocean of Dra Ocean O Dra Drama Journals. I'll put it I'll put it in the description box. I'll find her on Etsy and put it in the description box. So this is the book that she was referring to. The cover is gone because I think she's used it. But these are the, yeah, it's, it's a little guy and a, and a wolf or fox. I mean, <laughs> fox, right. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Oh my God. I love that. I love that. Oh, look at her pretty journal. Oh yeah. She used the Rendale foxes. Yeah. so cute it's such a shame we can't use them she'd sell more napkins if we could maybe i think she says she does quite fine on her own though so anyway yeah so she used some of the book pages in here coffee dyeing oh it's so nice thank you so much jess I love it. Oh, look at that little fox. That's the middle of the signature, and she's got charms in each one. This is a little fox charm. And there's hand charms. Fox and hand charms. Fox in the hen house. Oh. That's a card from UNICEF, but it's using the same characters as in the book. And just all sorts of coffee dyeing. Big envelope here. That has another one of the cards. Oh my gosh. Or else it's part of the book. I'm not sure, but... Same images either way. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Look at that. All the different foxes. Well, thank you so much, Jess, for sharing it with me. Oh my goodness. Love it. Love the coffee dyed paper. It's really fabulous. Big, looks like big tags in these tucks. Chickens, chickens in, fox in the farm in the farmhouse. Fox in the chicken coop. Hen house, fox in the hen house. That's the expression. Wow, that was tough. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. And how cool that you were inspired by, um, you know, uh, a book from your childhood. That's really cool. Just little pages here and there. Isn't that so cute? Mm, really cool. There's another one of the, another one of the napkins. tag in it. So cute. Such a beautiful journal, Jess. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, yes. So cute. Let's see what this one is. And that's so sweet. <laughs> I love that. That's just a delightful image, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, and these just must be extra bits. Yep, extra little cards and pieces and stuff. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jess. I love it. It is just a beautiful journal. And I am going to put your card kind of somewhere in the front so that I know who sent me this. So thank you so much. Thank you, Jess. It's just beautiful. I so appreciate it. Okay, let's see. I'm kind of running out of space to set stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, next one. Okay, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna make it in an hour. This is from Debbie. So I'm gonna quickly pop these open. Um, I'm not gonna read all the notes. I'll read those afterward. Oh, yes. She said she sent a bunch of cards. She said that, you know, sometimes some some pre-made cards are helpful. So that is awesome. Thank you. I am going to, I'm going to leave these in their tissue so I have the notes so I can look at it more closely. She saw these and she thought of me these cards. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. I think, oh my goodness, look at them. Aren't they pretty? Those will go, those will go great in the shabby chic journals, I think. Don't you guys? Oh, and then these ones have birthday sentiments in them. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you so much. Those, those are perfect to go in my shabby chic papers from Recollection Secret Gardenia. Oh, how cute. Look at how she did that. Oh, fun. Pink and teal. You know, don't ya? 
pink and teal. Oh, those are beautiful. I haven't seen that paper collection before. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, took these out of the original box, she says. Oh, yes. Look at her. She's a, she's a pin. And it says, imagine. Oh, that is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. She was thinking she might be fun pinned to a journal cover. I agree. I agree. Doubles of these she wanted to share, she says. So. This, oh gosh, some pretty, um stickers. Aren't those pretty? Shabby chic -y looking, aren't they? Okay, I'm gonna put that with that. And then handmade papers from India. Part of a collage pad. She says she got at Joann's. Scrap, Sen Scrap Essentials 2005. Oh, they're all embossed. Look at those. Aren't those lovely? And they, they do have that handmade paper feel. Oh, thank you. Those will be fun to use. I'm, I've got to watch some videos on embossed paper. I'm not very good with it. I mean, I, I, just, I just don't really know what I'm doing with it. That's what I would say. Okay. Oh, Tim Holtz tickets. Thank you, thank you. And some napkins. And then Christmas surprises, hence the gift wrap. O open now. And she has um, a bag, a Christmas bag attached. Thank you, Debbie. You're so sweet. Goodness. So I got to open my Christmas early. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is great because I think we're getting to that point in the Don't Freak Out Before Christmas where we're going to be decorating things. Oh, those are perfect. Oh goodness. And then some papers and stuff. Awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. I've been using the same papers over and over. Thank you so much, Debbie. <laughs> And look at all these stickers, two packages of each. Oh, thank you so much. And I love these. These are going to be great to decorate all the stuff I've made in that challenge. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you for all the yummy goodies. I'm going to put that all back together so that I can really take some time to look at it all. Okay, then I have a giant giant box from Kim. <laughs> and so, yes, we had enough time, I think. So I I took it all out of its original box and just put it in another box so it'd be easier for me to grab. So I'm just going to pull things out and show you. So she sent me a beekeeping book, which her thought was, you know, to make it into a journal, which it's got some great pages in it. And it would be a really fun journal, wouldn't it? So there's that. There's that. And um, and then she sent a book on rabbits, which I think I need to share with. I have two granddaughters that have bunnies. So there's all sorts of good information in there. So thank you so much for that, Kim. Oh, and then... Uh, right with right sort of with the bee she sent this wonderful fabric I've never seen that bee fabric before I love it thank you so much and then bunny wise um she sent this wonderful little pouch and oh she made some stuff I love it she made some clusters Look at all these fun clusters. This one's, um, oh, nope, never mind. 
Yeah, some fall ones, some ones with my colors. Thank you so much, Kim. Some are done, some are for me to finish, she says. <laughs> okay, we can do that. Um, she sent a big old bundle of napkins. So we'll flip through those a little bit here. I am brave, isn't that nice? Yes, all sorts of napkins, some fall napkins. Thankful. Oh, there's Santa. Santa. It's pretty flowers. Oh, those are lovely. More flowers. We love our flowers, don't we? Well, 4th of July. <laughs> or anytime. The flag is good anytime. Um, yeah, just all sorts of cute cute napkins thank you kim thank you thank you and then she sent some tissue paper oh my gosh i love that that is so cute and then these two also so napkins tissue paper um she sent these packs of butterflies, all different colors. Aren't those pretty? So fun. And oh, and then she sent this stuff. So interesting. It's kind of like those scrubby things for the shower. Do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of plasticky, but in all sorts of colors. Thank you, Kim. Let's see. And then um, she sent a bunch of cards, playing cards, um, uh, what, uh, game cards, you know, and that kind of stuff. Um, this green Dyson is for you to open jars. <laughs> Just cover the lid and they will burst open or twist open like in Mod Podge. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you. You know I need that. <laughs> um, so, and then the then these are all like um, playing cards too. Paint chips. Yeah, all different kind of playing cards and paint chips. And then um, as well that she talks about in that note, she sent these these and these for ink and she said she got them at the dollar tree so awesome those are great i do i do love using these sponges um and then she sent some puzzle pieces and look at this she sent three lisa gardner's books which is so nice thank you and yeah, my husband and I read them, but my son does too now. We've got him hooked. <laughs> so that's fun. So she sent this pretty, pretty fabric. And inside are all sorts of dyed um, cheesecloth. How fun is that? That's like just, no one would understand this except us, right? <laughs> and then she also... And this is the last thing. She sent a bunch of fabric strips. There's some Christmas. And there's just, you know, all sorts of things. Here's some doggies. Um, here's some more Christmas with snowmen. Put that with the Christmas. Some little froggies. Flowers and bunnies. And, oh, this red is pretty. That would be pretty for Christmas. I don't know if it is Christmas, but it would be fun for Christmas. Here's another Christmas one. Isn't that pretty? And some fall in here as well. And some more Christmas. So that, oh, and then these, um, these big cards were with the other cards. So, um, 
can decorate over the top of those or whatever. So that is what Kim sent. So there you go. That is a whole video of shares. As you can imagine, my, my tables are full. So I need to spend some time putting things away. <laughs> so thank you all so very much. I hope you enjoyed these shares. I'll put, as I said, all the Etsy's down below so you can go check them out for yourself. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thanks for your support of the people that I share. And I hope you have a grateful day. We'll just see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.